Call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rockin' everywhere. Booty, 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 rockin' everywhere. Booty, 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 booty. We are here this morning showing you how to take vitals. This is how you release it. What's up YouTube, it's Desi and I'm back with another video y'all. So in this video I'm going to talk about two main certified medical assistant tests. Um, it's going to be the NHA and it's going to be the NCCT. So this was my score for the NCCT test. This was two years ago you guys, two years ago, 2018. This is the my score at the time and this is the past score and this is going to be the range that they show you guys. So that's how that pretty much looks and then you're going to get a printout just to kind of show you as far as for the percentage and everything like that. That's how everything looks for that and um, just to kind of give you guys an idea as far as for how everything will look when you're done taking that test. I did have a request as far as for in the comments to see which one was better as far as for taking. Uh, before I get into the video, I do want to announce I had my experience with taking the NCCT test for a certified medical assistant. I did not have my experience with taking NHA test. I will tell you the two meanings behind those two. but um. I looked up my information as far as for that and I also watched a couple of girls videos as far as for their input as far as for taking the NHA test for medical assistance so I figured this video would be good so basically this video is going to be the um, NCCT test versus the NHA test and if you're wondering what is the difference between the two so basically the NCCT is going to be the National Center of Constancy Testing the NHA is going to be the National Healthcare Association I'm going to talk about the pros and cons as far as for the two. Um, like I said, I only had my experience with NCCT, so I can only speak so much for the NCCT. But however, I printed out um, the study guide that they have for the NHA. This is this thick packet right here. And I'm going to just go off of what I saw as far as for this. Now, I also have the um, NCCT printed out as well, too. I actually have the two different versions. I'll be sure to talk about that in another video as well, too, for you guys. But um, let's get right into the video. So as far as for the NCCT, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons as far as for that that I like um, because I pretty much know of the NCCT and I'll go ahead and start talking about the um, National Healthcare um, Career Association one. Um, so for the NCCT, if you guys watched any of my previous videos, I had took my test twice before this was years back and I actually felt my test when I ended up doing my um, medical assistant test. But however, I upgraded you guys and I'm doing really good as far as for how I'm doing now. Um, that's all in the past you guys. But however, one thing I can say about the pros with the national, um, with the NCCT test is that um, one, you get the title to become a certified medical assistant. So you'll get that CMA title. Whenever you see somebody with the CMA title or MA title, pretty much is medical assistant or certified medical assistant. Not everybody is going to add in, I'm a CMA, I'm a CMA. The most of the time I just tell you they're MA, but for the most part, that's the title that you're going to get when you pretty much pass that test. Um, the test takes three hours. It's 150 items. It'll be three I mean, it'll be 30 that'll be pre-test. So pretty much 30 of it is going to get thrown out the window. They're going to grade you off of whatever else is left. Um, good things that I can say about this test is that, um, one, I love how it has the visuals when it comes to the end um, for the... Um, I'm sorry, you guys, my back is killing me. Um, I love how it shows the visuals when it comes to the uh, EKG test. Um, and the reason why I say that is because a lot of people... When you're looking at the different formats for their test, they do not have visuals when it comes to the um, EKG. Most of the time, some people may have it where they can actually select which rhythm goes with this or something like that. But one thing I can like about the EKG on the um, NCCT test is that the EKG rhythms are pretty hard at, you know, um, determining and whatnot. It depends on what kind of graph you may get. But however, I prefer it to be visual than it to be written out or anything like that. I do appreciate that with that test. So um, that could be definitely one thing I can say about that too. Now, most people may not see that as a big of a deal, but me personally, I see it as a big of a deal because if it's hard for me to understand it, then that can be a problem. Um, another thing I like about the NCCT is that they have discounts that run. So the test usually costs $135 if you're looking to get the test done. Now, one thing I can say about the test is that um, if you are, say for instance, if it's your first time taking the test and you're with, uh, say for instance, you're with your school. With me, it was Fortis College. Fortis College pays for the first time. When you take it the second time, that's when you then have to pay. Good thing about NCCT, they offer a lot of discounts. So just recently for June, they actually had a discount going on for $70 just to get the test done. So I definitely think that's good as well too. I really feel like for the rest of the year, they should offer a big discount because it's like, we're in the healthcare field. Why not look out for us? You know what I'm saying? But um, 
hey, you know, at the end of the day, those are good things I can say about the test. Now, going off with the bad things, there is no calculator for the test. Whenever you're on the math section as far as for um, the ACCT, there is no calculator. You have to make sure that you know these formulas. You have to make sure you know the equations. You have to know how to convert uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius, Celsius to Fahrenheit, convert pounds to kilograms, kilograms to pounds. You have to make sure that you know all that stuff. So there will not be a calculator on the test. You want to make sure that you have all that stuff down packed. Another thing too is um, it's different versions of the test. So whenever you retake the test, is of course it's going to be a different version. But I just feel like that sucks because it's like, come on now, like my mind's already focused on the one I took the first time. So if I'm gonna retake it, I'm hoping it to be the same. But that's pretty self-explanatory. You will have different versions of the test. So whenever you fail the test and you retake it, it will be a different version. Some of the questions I can kind of tell that I remember from, but it'll be like a different set of hand of questions that can kind of like throw you off. But yet it's still kind of asking the same exact thing. So you want to make sure you pay attention to it. But right off the bat, when I first failed my test, y'all, I was like trying to make sure I remember which questions. Like every time I get done taking a test, I always go back through the first question and just try to go all the way through the end just to see what looks familiar, what can I remember. It's certain ones I know I got right, certain ones I know I'm not too sure on, but just in case if I'm not too sure on it, let me remember which one this was. Like try to remember those type of things. And another thing I did not like about the NCCT, when I first tried taking the test, when I first took the test for NCCT, it was nothing but administrative questions. That literally threw me off. Like, I was like, come on, like, we learned all this clinical stuff, and you mean to tell me this is straight administrative stuff? Like, that literally threw me off. So I didn't too much like that about the NCCT. But that's a whole nother story. So now let's talk about the NHA. That's pretty much the National Healthcare, I'm sorry, why I keep saying healthcare? National Health Career um, Association. All right, so for the pros, remember, I did not take a test with this. I just go off of what I saw as far as for the um, study guide. Now, a couple of the pros as far as for this one, I would definitely say you could tell this one focused majority on clinical. And I actually like that. It focused majority on clinical. And you could tell that. And the reason why I say that is because um, after looking at the format, I could just kind of tell like, man, this is not, it's, it's some partially administrative, but it's not as much. If you're talking percentages, I would say 75% clinical, 25% administrative. And that's how it should be. Cause it's like medical assistance. We do a lot of like administrative work, but the majority is like clinical. Like we're literally like helping people out. We have to help assist the nurse. We have to help assist the doctor. Like it's, you know what I'm saying? It's stuff like that. And you do have parts where you do the front desk, but I hate how they're trying to like make these medical assistant tests focus so much on front office work. And it's like, we're literally not just doing front office work. Like stop putting so much front office into the test. Start adding more clinical because at the end of the day we're in the back office half of the time um another thing that i like about it is that you get the ccma title ccma is going to be clinical certified medical assistant so i like that as well too and that's what brings me to why the test is so full of clinical because that's pretty much the te um the title that you're going to end up getting when you pass the test and as soon as you get done with the test it's going to um, be three hours 150 items 30 pre-tests which is going to be 30 that they throw out um I'm pretty sure once you're done taking this test, it grades you right afterwards, just like the NCCT. As soon as you press submit, it's gonna tell you right then and there whether you passed or failed. Now, some of the cons as far as for the NHA that I can kind of already tell I don't like right off the bat. To take this test, it's $155. I'm just like, what the heck? Like this, this test costs a lot. But at the same time, like I say, if your school is signed up with the NAA, you pretty much have your first try free, and I'm pretty sure the second try you may have to pay. One thing I like about Fortis College, they were already tied in with NCCT, so with it being affordable as well too, I kind of liked it that. But $155 for a test, please. After printing out the study guide, you guys, they do not tell you how many questions you have on the category. What I mean by that, so. If you guys take a look at the NCCT, the NCCT tells you how many questions you have on the category of pharmacology, 13 questions. They tell you how many questions you have on medical procedures, okay? And on this one, it's just straight words. It's literally straight words. It's not going to tell you how many questions you have in phlebotomy, how many questions you have with law and ethics. It doesn't show all that. And I feel like if you have a study guide that's this thick, you should definitely have how many questions it should be in that category because at the end of the day a lot of people may need to know like as far as for me i don't know how everybody else works but say for instance i don't want to put all my focus into phlebotomy and you have like five questions on the test for phlebotomy you get what i'm saying so it's like i feel like everybody should kind of know an idea of how many questions should be on that test just to see if that's like a major category they should be studying and you know that's kind of how that goes so the ncct definitely got a raise on that one the naa need to improve um, another thing I can say as well too, the study guide, the study guide itself is detailed with words, but it's not detailed, detailed. Like say for instance, for phlebotomy, they have the simple stuff, like stuff like, you know, I just feel like if you're going to give me a study guide, give me a little bit more in depth, like 
how many questions is going to be written out how many questions is going to be you know where i have to like you know explain myself stuff like that they just give you the basics like say for instance for for the phlebotomy part they have on here verify order details prepare site for vena puncture perform vena puncture for perform capillary puncture like stuff like that stuff that we should already know which i'm pretty sure we do know but it's like let us know what questions is going to be like is it going to be order of draw is going to be which tube is this which tube is that for it to be this thick for a study guide i feel like it should be a lot bit more detailed besides just words like somebody could literally look at this and get bored so you want to make sure that you guys pay attention to that if you're looking to um take the na nha but these are the two differences as far as for these two you guys hopefully if you end up taking them hopefully good luck to you if you guys are looking for um more people inside as far as for the nha because i didn't really too much go in depth because again i never took that test and i'm probably not going to i'm going to just you know root for ncct i want people to take the ncct um but however for the nha if you're looking for more experience for that do type in nha experience for medical assistant test and you will see a whole list of girls that pop up and they'll tell you guys the experience as far as for how they were able to take their test so hopefully this video helped you guys out hopefully everybody stay safe peace y'all